Hello, I'm Patrick Schmidt and welcome to day three of my seven days of Prosecco. Today I'm going to answer another common question among Prosecco lovers and that is, why does Prosecco have bubbles? Well, Prosecco actually starts life as a still wine, albeit a very light one. Producers pick the grapes, press them and then add yeast, which converts the sugars in the grapes into alcohol, which is how all wine is made. Importantly, this process, called fermentation, produces carbon dioxide. And if you trap this gas in a wine, then it will make it sparkle. In the case of Prosecco, the fizziness comes from the fact this light, low alcohol base wine is put in a sealed stainless steel vat. Yeast is then added to this wine, along with sugar for the yeast to feed off. This provokes a second fermentation. And because this time it occurs in a sealed container, the carbon dioxide released from the conversion of sugar to alcohol is trapped in the wine. This sparkling result is then bottled under pressure. It's known as the tank method or Italian method, and it differs from, for example, champagne, which gains its fizz by sealing the carbon dioxide not in a tank, but the bottle itself, a more expensive process that in part explains the higher price of champagne. Putting the costs aside, the method of Prosecco production generally yields an aromatic sparkling wine with a fruity flavour, a slight sweetness and a fairly low alcohol by volume, around 11%. It's also a sparkling wine that is designed to be drunk when it's young. Very few Proseccos will benefit from cellaring. In other words, don't hang around, but crack open your recently purchased Prosecco. Well, as soon as you get home. So, with that said, it's definitely time for a glass. Salute!